Hi there, so this is part three of the hypermobility series. Um, so come down onto your mat. If you have a squishy ball or a small cushion, have that handy. A block and then a belt or a band just for some extra stre stretches, okay? So we're gonna start off on the mat. We're gonna just look at some breathing, relaxation, posture control um, and joint mobility, okay? So lay down on your mat and you can do this with or without your ball or your cushion to start with or with. I'm going to do the whole series with. So lay down on your mat, just lengthen down through your arms, breathing wide and full into your ribs. Breathe out, engage through your core. So you're just going to pull in um, the muscles around your belly button so that you're engaging through your core. If you also want to engage through your pelvic floors, imagine you've got a zip between your tailbone to your pubic bone. You're just going to zip that up. So you're just bringing all those muscles together. Okay, so I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to place it underneath one of my heels. So your knees and feet are hip width apart. Place your cushion or your ball underneath one foot. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, you're just going to push the weight down through your heel. Breathe in to release. And breathe out, push down. Breathe in to release. So you're engaging through the core, working those abdominal muscles. And as you push down, you should feel your quads and your hamstrings because you're controlling movement also of the ball or you've got some resistance with your cushion. We'll do eight till five, breathing in to relax, breathing out, push down, <clears throat> breathing in to relax, seven and eight. Great, then bring that ball to the other side. Breathing in and then breathing out, push down. Breathing in, just check you've got your collarbones nice and wide, chest is open and your core is still engaged. Breathing out, push down through the heel, breathing in to relax the foot. Breathing out, push down. So focus on your abdominals and your quads and hamstrings. Try and leave the buttocks switched off for the now. Don't let them get involved. You just want that leg to be working and your core to be in control. Six, pushing down. Breathing in to relax. <coughs> Two more, seven. And last one, eight. Lovely, relax that. Bring the ball and then put it in between your knees or your cushion, okay? So now we're gonna work the adductor muscles, so the muscles that bring your knees closer to each other. So keeping the core engaged, collarbones nice and wide, chest open, <clears throat> arms down by your sides, breathing in. As you breathe out, bring the knees together, squeezing onto the cushion or your ball. Breathing in to relax and breathing out to squeeze together. Again, you're working through your core and you're using your legs. Try and isolate that you're working those adductor muscles and your abdominals. Your abdominals to keep you nice and stable and steady and your posture. And those adductor muscles just to wake up the insides of those thighs. Breathing in to relax and breathing out to squeeze. Six. And seven. And eight. Well done. Then you can keep the ball here or you can take it out. Now we're going to bring our awareness to our buttock muscles because they always like to join in. So bring your hands onto your seat bones, breathing in 
As you breathe out, squeeze those seat bones together. Breathe in, release. And breathe out, squeeze those seat bones together. Breathe in to release. Good, so you should feel your buttocks actively engaging now because you're up wanting them to. <coughs> and hopefully that feels different for what you've been doing before. Because the buttocks like to join in, but it's good to get all these muscles working in isolation so that your brain is giving the right signals. And six, squeeze. Breathing in to relax. Breathing out to squeeze. And last one. And relax. Well done. Then you're going to do the neck press. So you engage the neck extensor muscles. So you're not going to tip the chin down or take the chin up. We're just going to activate the muscles up the back of the neck. Um, that are often having to work because most of us have forward head carriage or we're looking down at a desk or a car or or we're cooking everything so just to get these neck extensor muscles engaged if you've got your cushion or your pillow pop it under your head then you've got a little bit of give underneath your head so breathing in keep that core engaged relax the buttocks and the legs and the hip flexors now and as you breathe out just push the back of your head into your cushion or your mat breathe in to relax Breathe out to just push the back of your head. Breathe in, relax. So again, you should just feel those neck extensors engaging. And they're weightless at the moment, so it's a really good way just to get them to engage and relax. Five. Keep that breathing going, seven, breathing out, push your back of your head into your mat and breathing in to release, eight, well done. Just gently look from left to right to relax that neck off again. And then we'll stretch out our hip flexors. So take hold of one thigh and stretch out the other leg, have a good stretch out. <clears throat> You can flex and point those feet. Just have a little stretch out a little bit more through those legs. Well done, then just stretch out a little bit through the hamstrings. So straighten one leg, hold the bubble below the knee, breathe in to relax and breathe out to stretch. Breathe in to relax. And breathe out to stretch. Breathe in to relax and breathe out to stretch. And then if you can, you've got a band or a belt, <clears throat> just pop that round basically the sole of your foot and take the band, have the knee nice and straight and then to stretch out that deep IT band, just bring your foot over towards the opposite shoulder just to feel that stretch deep inside your leg. So you're bringing that foot over towards the opposite shoulder to get that deep stretch. Just hold it for a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll do the other side. So hip flexor stretch with the other leg. Stretching it out. Again, take a nice few breaths here. And we'll flex and point your feet. Good, flex and point. Well done, then the hamstring stretch. So breathing out, straighten and stretch your leg. Breathing in to bend, breathing out, stretch and straighten. Again, holding above or below the knee. <clears throat> breathing in to bend and breathing out to stretch. Well done. Okay, then again, 
the IT band stretch. So popping that band around the sole of your foot, straighten the leg, have the knee nice and straight. And as you breathe out, bring that foot over towards the opposite shoulder and feel the deep stretch inside. Breathing in to relax again, breathing out to gently pull it over. Breathing in to relax and breathing out to pull it over, giving it a nice stretch. Oh, straighten that leg. <laughs> well done. Okay. And when you're ready, we're going to roll over onto our side so you can pop your block under your head and you do need your ball for this one or your squishy cushion in between your knees. So again, keep those knees bent, um, toes and heels together. You're going to stack the hips, knees and toes, waist away from the floor, core engaged, collarbones wide, shoulders down the back. Breathing in, pulling in that core and those pelvic floors. And as you breathe out, you're going to squeeze down on the ball and you're going to push forward from the seat bone. Breathing in, relax. As you breathe out, push down on the ball and push forward from the seat bone. Breathe in to relax. So you're getting a, a nice lower back. Your lower back is joining in to create that stretch, uh, to create that exercise through the hip. Four, four more. Breathing in, breathing out, squeeze and gently that knee slightly forward. Breathing in, relax. Five. And six. Just to help mobilize that lumbar spine. So as you breathe out, seven. And eight. Great. Well done. Now we're going to activate the hip flexor and the hamstrings. So you're going to take the ball, you're going to put it behind the knee and you're going to hold on to the ball. You're going to bring the knee up in line with the hip, keeping those hips stacked, waist away from the floor, shoulders down the back and core engaged. As you breathe out, you're going to flex through the hip and bring that knee slightly forwards. And as you breathe in, you're going to take that leg back, squeezing that hamstring as far as you're in control and your hips are staying where they are. Breathing out to come forwards and breathing in to lengthen and squeeze that hamstring. So you're working the hamstring. So you're breathing out, you're working the hip flexor, coming forwards and breathing out, breathing in to go backwards. Good. Four. So just working through that top hip, bringing that top hip forwards. Breathing out to go backwards. Good. Breathing in to come forwards. And breathing out to go backwards. Six. And seven. Done. And bring that down. Well done. Okay. Fall away for a moment. Okay, we're going to do a little bit for the rotator cuffs. So breathing in, bring your arms in front of you. You can relax through the waist and the hips now. And as you breathe out, you're just going to slide and glide, coming all the way across, allowing a little bit of spine rotation and relax through the hips. Breathe in, open through the chest. And as you breathe out, slide and glide, coming back across. Lovely, do three. So as you breathe out, coming back across over the other side of the body. Breathe in, open through the chest. And as you breathe out, coming back. Lovely, last one.
good okay so from here gently come up to sitting we're going to do the other side so bring your ball with you we do the other hip so bring those knees together knees knees feet and hips stacked breathing in engage through the core waist away from the floor so imagine you've got a hedgehog under there okay so when you're ready breathing in core engaged shoulders down as you breathe out, squeeze the ball and push forward from the seat bone. Breathing in to relax. It's mobilizing that lower back, that lumbar spine. Breathing in to relax. And breathing out, lengthen. Great. And four. <clears throat> and eight. Very good. Then you're going to take that ball or the cushion, pop it in behind the knee, keeping the knee up at hip height, heel up at hip height, <coughs> keeping that waist away from the floor, core engaged, arm down. So when you're ready, you're going to breathe out to bring that knee slightly forward, working, flexing through the hip. And breathing out, breathing in, squeezing the hamstring to go back. Breathing out, coming forwards. Breathing in, squeeze that hamstring, control the movement. Good, breathing out. Breathing in. Good. Breathing out, breathing in, and five. Sorry, eight. So bringing that down, release the ball. Okay, when you're ready, you're going to bring your arms in front of you. Breathing in, relax through the waist. And as you breathe out, you're going to slide and glide all the way across the body and out the other side. Take a breath in, allow the spine to twist and the hips to relax. And breathing out, coming back across the body, allowing those rotator cuff muscles to stretch out. So breathing out, slide and glide. We're going to do three. And last one. Well done. Then we're going to do some shoulder bridge. So for your shoulder bridge, lay on your back. <laughs> Take away your block. Breathing in, engage through the core. And just do a simple shoulder bridge without anything. You can put your squeezy cushion in between the knees so you keep the knees and feet hip width apart so you get a little bit of feedback. Core engaged, arms down by your sides. And as you breathe out, roll the spine into the mat and squeeze the seat bones, articulating the spine come up into your shoulder bridge. Breathing in, you can just hold it here, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, just gently articulating back down through the spine, coming back down onto your mat. Breathing in. Then as you breathe out, slowly coming up, bringing those hips up. Keep those ribs still. You can bring the arms up far as your ears and breathing out bringing the spine back down articulating back down onto the mat breathing in lower the arms good 
Okay, now we're going to work with the ball under one leg for toe tap. So breathing in, we're going to do toe tap with the ball. So as you breathe out, lift and you're going to breathe in to lower. So collarbones nice and wide, breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. So the ball helps you keep that leg in the right angle. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower, keep that core engaged, breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Six. So you're working those abdominals. Focus on working those abdominals. So we're just tentatively holding that ball with your hamstrings. These hip flexors should only engage slightly. Okay, and eight. Well done. We're going to swap sides. So toe tap with the other side. Place that ball underneath. Breathing in. Knees and feet hip width apart. Core engaged. Arms nice and long. Collarbones wide. As you breathe out. Breathe in to lower, breathe out, toe tap. So keep those abdominals really working. They are in control of the movement. And your leg is just holding on to the ball. Your hamstrings are working to hold on to the ball. But your hamstrings are doing the movement, are in control of the movement. Four. Four, five. And eight. Well done. Okay, now we're going to do that in the shoulder bridge. So, breathing in. We're going to do four on the left leg and four on the right. So, arms down by your sides. Breathing in, engage the core. As you breathe out, peeling up through the spine. Breathing in, you're gonna bring that leg up. Breathe out, hold it. Breathe in, dip. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, dip. Breathe out, lift. Keeping those hips up and nice and steady. And that must be four. Well done. Breathe in, push those hips up. And as you breathe out, curling back down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Lovely, we're going to swap that ball to the other side. Pop it in behind the knee, breathing in, core engaged. As you breathe out, you're going to curl the spine, peeling it off the mat, one vertebra at a time, pushing those hips up, lengthening the back. Breathe out, lift the knee, breathe in, tap. Good. Three. And last one. Well done. Take that ball out. Oh, sorry, curling back down onto the mat and then take your ball out. Good. Well done. Now we're going to do that again, but on tiptoes. So pop the ball under the knee for feedback. I'm going to come up onto tiptoes, working the calves a bit more this time. So as you breathe out, curling the spine, articulate, bring it up. Good, breathe in, hold. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, tap. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, tap. And three. Last one. Well done, breathe in, push those hips up. As you breathe out, curling back down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Good control. When you're ready, release the ball from one side, pop it in the other side. Coming back up onto tiptoes, breathing in, keeping that core engaged, shoulders widened down. As you breathe out, curling the spine into the mat before squeezing the buttocks, lifting those hips. Well done, breathing in. And as you breathe out, lift, breathing in to tap down. Breathe out, lift, 
Breathe in, tap. And three. And four. Well done. Breathe in, push up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, dipping down from the sternum first and curling back down onto the mat. Good, release the ball. Last exercise, we're just gonna draw three circles with either leg. So keep that core engaged. Extend your leg up towards the ceiling. Straighten that leg, straighten the knee, breathing in. And as you breathe out, you're going to do three circles in one direction. Keeping your hips nice and steady and still. Just make sure you can feel the mat through the backs of those ribs. And then three circles in the opposite direction. Keeping your hips nice and steady and still. Collarbones wide, shoulders down. Lengthening and straightening the knee. Well done. Other side, take up the leg, breathing in. And as you breathe out, start drawing your circles. Keep the backs of those ribs in contact with the mat. Keep pulling in the belly button, all those core muscles. And then three in the opposite direction. Well done. Okay, hug those legs, hip flexor stretch, stretch those legs out. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. Stretch out both sides of the legs. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Well done. And gently roll over onto your side and come on back up. So thank you for joining me again. This is uh, Lucia at Unwind Pilates for some hypermobility exercises. Nice and calm and just focusing on all those joints. Have a good day.